Hi everyone, thanks for watching my video. This is Lee. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build a next cloud on your personal VPS with traffic and Docker. Let's get started. First of all, let me just open my browser and my terminal. Then I will log into my server as usual. I will start from the beginning um, again, um, I normally do that because I think it will be easier for um, the new user to understand how you can build these um, services from scratch. So if you, you have already got the traffic set up, you can skip to the next part. Okay, so um, go to my blog and go to traffic config. Then we just need to um, copy some of the files here. First of all, let's just copy and create some files and then we need to fill the content um, maybe i should just make this part um, in a separate video and then i can put it on in my future videos maybe but anyway uh, let me just get started to paste this content in um, i'll need to change your uh, your domain to um, your actual domain and then make sure all the contents are here. Next file, which is the static configuration file. And the same, we need to change your domain to your actual domain. Make sure everything is copied. Yep. Then the last file. Okay, you don't have to change anything here, just to make sure everything is copied. And then we can start our traffic. So we should just create our network first. The network name is called proxy here. You can name whatever you want. And also, um, I will copy my um, acme.json file to the folder. I just don't want to waste my time waiting for the certificate to be um, generated. Um, so and then I just need to change the permissions here. Now we can start our uh, traffic. Excellent. Let's verify. Ah. I think it's caching. So let's just try another one. Yep. Exactly caching. Well, if you want to know where the um, username and password is, it is here username and password. Um, you can add your own username and password to generate this string. Um, if you don't know how to do that, leave me a comment. Um, I will tell you how to generate it. It's pretty simple. All right, so now um, traffic is up and running. Uh, we just need to go to the next step to create the next cloud um, services here. So next cloud is this one. As you can see, there is a single file to run our uh, next cloud. A few things I want to mention. So next cloud is, in my opinion, quite heavy um, applications. It, um, in my setup, I've got a database, uh, which I set the time zone to be UTC. You can set whatever time zone you, you like to use. I normally use UTC. Um, and then I've got a radius here, which is, in theory, helping Nextcloud caching, so it will run faster. And then it is the Nextcloud um, configurations here. Okay, so, um, and I also put all the files, just mount this to our local files here. So I will need to create this folder la uh, later. So let's get started. Maybe just call this um, Nextcloud, and then we just go to that folder. 
um, create our docker compose file and copy mm, make sure your domain is changed to your actual domain and everything is copy now um, oh yeah we just need to make that file make directory files yep yeah. and we can run it okay so next I will monitor the logs to make sure uh, next cloud is running let's just check the uh, container name and ID um, the next cloud is here so docker logs all right so it is initializing on um, the next cloud here let's um, wait for it okay you should have your next cloud up and running now let's go there the the first time you run it you need to create a admin account so let's create that and it will install recommended apps here um, I will choose to install but it will take a really long time so I will fast forward this one so let's just finish that up and wait for it all right finally um, it really takes a long time to install these applications it could be because I'm running this um, VPS on Oracle um, free VPS which is tiny so if your VPS is considerably powerful it should run faster you can edit files here it's a uh, markdown files the first time open it it will be a little bit slow um, but um, after that you should be um, getting it quite quickly yep and you can um, view videos and PDF I don't want to play it now and you can also install applications so let's go to apps and I believe it's under tools and you can enable a lot of things here including two-factor authentication so that's it um, you can take your time to explore all the features here for myself, I don't use um, Nextcloud anymore. I'm using something called File Browser. Um, I think um, maybe that's the first one. Yeah. Yep, I'm using this one now. Um, it's really um, lightweight and um, I think easy to use. All right, so that's all for today's video. The reason I make this video so quickly is because I receive a few comments and even emails from um, some viewers um, they, they told me they, they they like my content and it helped them and it really motivates me to make my videos and that's all for today thank you for watching see you next time